Good afternoon and welcome to the destination perfect of Indian football. This is Kashmir and here you can see the majestic landscapes, uh, feel the soothing weather and witness the elusive snow leopards who now take on the mighty Mohammedan spotting who are on top of the table shining bright. Their path is gradually getting clear and they have hurdles on the way. One of them right now real Kashmir the home side here the dressing room of the home side all in yellow strides of course uh, and Ishfaq Ahmed has uh, got his troops uh, set for this exciting battle for this tough battle as well and real Kashmir are the only side who have uh, got the better of uh, Mohammedan spotting and we will soon uh, hear out what Ishfaq had to say before the game we had a word with him and uh, we'll hear out how he approaches uh, the tough guns of Mohammedan sporting the rival of the home side earlier in the day, a venue which has been a heartthrob for many Indian football fans and the Kashmir fanatics, they have always uh, been uh, there. And uh, we'll now quickly move uh, to hear from uh, Ishfaq Ahmed and his thoughts on this very a game it has been heated up every time and these two have come up against uh, one another Well, uh, it's a very important match for us. Uh, they are a very good side and uh, we have to play uh, our best game today. We have to play our A game today if we want to get something out of this match. Um, uh, you know, like uh, uh, football is, uh, you know, like if you want to do good in this league, you have to show consistency and uh, these matches are... Uh, you know, dream matches for any I League player to play with the best team. Uh, best team. So I think boys are motivated, and let's hope for a good result. What's the atmosphere in the dressing room for today's match? Well, brilliant. Uh, we are all excited. Uh, we want to play uh, this kind of match, and uh, we'll try to keep it simple and uh, try to play good football. Thank you. Motivated looking real Kashmir and they are up against one of their toughest tests once again, second time in this season. Uh, with me in the com box to take you through this exciting encounter, uh, Rohit Ganguly. <clears throat> Thank you so much, uh, Bhashwar. A very good afternoon, everyone. And that's the dressing room of uh, Mohammedan Sporting Club. The table toppers at the moment and uh, has a comprehensive lead up front. They will be looking forward uh, to build on uh, from here. Their closest pursuers uh, are Shwiniti Deccan. And uh, they will be hoping against hope that possibly if Real, Madri if Real Kashmir apologies, can go ahead and uh, stall them from garnering full points. And Bishal Nishav, he's done a brilliant job on the sidelines. It is expected that uh, he will have a master stroke up his sleeve. He also dished out some crucial insights ahead of the game. Let's quickly hear what he had to say. No, we expect a tough match because we play here uh, on this AstroTurf uh, ground, uh, another uh, weather, uh, 2 p.m. It's uh, not uh, time what we played uh, last uh, matches. But okay, uh, we want to win. We came here to win this uh, match because uh, uh, we lost 3-0 uh, at home and uh, now 
we and the players understand we need to take revenge. Uh, we spoke yesterday uh, on the meeting, we spoke today on the meeting, we tell uh, this is our players, we need to take revenge. This is only one, one thing what we need to have uh, during uh, the game. About that we, uh, we want to win this match, but uh, we will play against one strong uh, team. They played very well uh, this season, they uh, beat uh, all uh, big uh, teams uh, here uh, and away, Gokulam, Srinidi, Mohamedan, and they also want to show how they are good at home. And about that we expect tough game, but we also expect a very good game. I hope supporters are coming for the match and will see good football. It's atmosphere, it's uh, very well when you are in the top atmosphere, every time <laughs> nice. Uh, this is uh, normal in the life, this is normally in the football. About that, uh, players, uh, my players are ready for the match. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. Thank you. Well, as uh, Mr. Shanishov said, last time Real Kashmir picked Mohammedan's pocket in their very backyard. So revenge is on the platter and uh, that should ideally be the practice scenes for uh, the snow leopards. A quick look, we'll wait for their uh, starting 11, of course uh, they will be hopeful, that man in the frame, Crizo, they'll be hopeful of him making an impact if he's included as a part of the playing 11, of course. And with that being said, this man, Carlos Lomba, he can also have a telling impact. Well, we'll soon have a look at the lineups of the two sides, Real Kashmir and Mohammedan. Always a very intense. Uh, that's a starting lineup for Real Kashmir. Mohit under the stakes had a brilliant game in the last encounter. Shahid, Mohamed Ahmad, Shaheen, and Wayne Vaz in the defense. Issa, Carlos Lomba, and Adnan in the midfield. And look who's back in the striking line. Crizo leading forth with Jeremy and Ramdina on the planks. Top goal scorers uh, in these two sides. Eddie Hernandez leading Mohammedan's attack. Padam Chetri on goal. Jasim Irshad, Joseph Ajay and uh, Adinga in the back line who returns. Alexis Gomez and Birkash returns as well. With Kasimov and Angusana in the midfield. Beniston gets a start along with Eddie Hernandez. This will be interesting. David Lalansanga though has found himself on the bench. But at the same time, one key absentee in the form of Rem Sanga down that uh, right wing. They've got players in and out uh, while Alexis Gomez, uh, Adinga and uh, Bikash uh, missed the previous match. They are back now, but at the same time, uh, they are missing the service of Rem Sanga. How does that play in this uh, tough contest? Rem Sanga is, of course, a live wire on the wing. Uh, it goes without a saying. But then again, in a marathon league like that, uh, when you have uh, five goals, of course, your team expects you to be a part of almost all the matches, particularly a match like this, uh, where Real Kashmir and that you are traveling in the den of the snow leopards. It's always a challenging affair. So, of course, you would need your best playing 11. But that one particular thing that was uh, said by Mr. Andrew Shonishov is uh, when you are at the top of the table, the mood is always on the lighter side. And along with that, another critical factor which comes up with the table topping position is that it doesn't, well, the match referee, uh, in fact, the match officials for the day, Mr. Harish Kundu, and uh, assistant referee Kishan Shan Joshi, assistant referee to Kuldeep Singh Tarial, and fourth official Rahul Kumar Gupta. And yeah, getting back to the point, uh, you see, when you are a top team, when you are leading the points table, Eventually, you have to make peace with the fact that there will be a few players uh, who will not be available for all the matches. So whatever resources are out there at your behest, you start making good use of it and start going forward all guns blazing. So the bottom line is, it doesn't matter whom you have or whom you don't. What matters is that the intent and the hunger is same throughout all the players. Indeed. And one thing a Mohammedan have on the bench is too much of quality and not just the players uh, I mean the coaching unit uh, the Pendu Bishwas and Richard Nishova Allison uh, all on your screen right now along with uh, Lalit Tapa as well the goalkeeping coach uh, 
But Ishfaq Ahmed, he has turned around to this real Kashmir side and their style of play. Now they have been stylish, but they have been different and they have been a what watch this season. The real Kashmir will be looking to pull out another upset. Mohammedan's only defeat in the season. And uh, quickly uh, flashing in front of your on your screens, uh, the team that will be attacking from the right to the left, dressed in their whites, their away jersey is uh, Mohammedan Sporting. Wherein attacking from your frame, attacking on your frame rather, from the left to the right, dressed in their signature yellow and black colours that. Uh, has so far brought hope in terms of football in the valley is real Kashmir FC. Of course, uh, these two teams, they have had their fair shares of ups and downs. Real Kashmir would have expected a bit more from uh, this tournament. They were on a fine run and they still are on a fine run, goes without a saying. They pulled off the unthinkable, visiting Mohammed and Sporting's home, defeating them there and coming back unscathed. And now this is their den where they host Mohammed and Sporting, where they host the table toppers. Well, the table toppers against a fierce rival in the form of uh, Real Kashmir. Over the course of the season, they have grown. And they have returned home after long. They played Delhi FC, who were held down 1-1. Real Kashmir at home, uh, they are cold and fierce. Uh, freezing scary but Mohammedan Sporting bring the heat with them will find out if they can melt down slow or will it be the snow leopards who can go for a hunt six red cards in six meetings three three level on head to head this gets intense every time we have a Mohammedan and real Kashmir on the same pitch underway with match number 135 real Kashmir against Mohammedan you talked about uh, intensity, you talked about uh, tempers flaring as well, six red cards of course. Uh, that, is a that is a statement. Now what matters is like, uh, you know, in games like these where there are two top teams vying for glory, vying for the bragging rights. And I reckon what matters to them, irrespective of the cost, is that they walk out victorious. A draw is not really a possible, is not really an acceptable option for any of these teams. Real Kashmir, they will like to carry forward that good run and particularly they will like to build confidence from the fact that they are up against one of the top sides of Indian football currently, the Kolkata Giants, Mohammedan Sporting and they will like to log as many points as they can. On the contrary, however, Mohammedan Sporting knows that this is not going to be an easy encounter. The conditions are also different from what is back home for them. They will have to battle, they will have to brave these uh, hostile conditions, including the overwhelming crowd that have already flocked in numbers to the TRC football turf. Always a pleasant scenario. Real Kashmir, the love they get, the support they get. And such a treat to watch for the home fans. And somewhat a soothing weather at this time of the year in Kashmir. 13 to 15 degrees uh, right now in the, the daytime. Of course, we'll get cold as the day progresses but Mohammedan uh, they have uh, a job in hand a job to hold on for four more matches uh, and uh, rise to glory the gate open but real Kashmir 
might hurt them here. Quick exchange of possession. Resorting Liana back in the lineup after suspension. Wariza, and so is Bikash after his injury concerns. Uh, now Bikash. You talked about the policies of Hashford for uh, intercepting you there. You talked about the points table, the gates being wide open. Looking at the current points table, Mohamedan Sporting has got 48 uh, matches, or 48 points rather. And uh, Real Kashmir pretty much uh, away from them, adrift of them. But the point is, Shwini the Deccan, their closest uh, chasers at the moment, the team in the second position, are nine points away. So even if they go on to win the next couple of games, they can only come up to 45. So the gap of two points, the gap of three points still remain. Well, indeed. And that is something which will uh, more impress Srinidhi Deccan in the mix. Uh, Kriso, meanwhile, trying to do the link of work, which he has uh, done over the course of uh, this season. Different role for him. Sometimes the man, the number nine in the box, are waiting. And sometimes uh, the man creating things with those one or two touches. I reckon uh, the points table that was just mentioned, I think uh, there's a bit of change. So it's a live points table which I have uh, pointed out. At the moment, Mohamedan's points tally is 47, which means they are still too clear. Like they have a two match uh, advantage, like as in they have played two more matches. So which means Srinidhi Deccan still has an opportunity of playing those two matches. And even if they go on to win, they will be coming up to 45. But yes, as they say that, you know, Every point that Mohamedan Sporting loses opens up a window for Srinidhi Deccan. A window, a portal, whatever you like to call it, but uh, it is gradually being opened by the teams on top of the table. In Takashi, surprisingly, with a sudden strange uh, rising curve, have come up to third ahead of Real Kashmir and Kokulam, who were in the talks. Uh, and they've They've been unbeaten in nine matches. A chance, meanwhile, for Kriso. Padam Chetri. In safe hands, uh, he has been in the back uh, line. The two strongest defense of the league. The Real Kashmir have conceded 13 in, or rather, in 20 matches, while Muhammadan have conceded 17 just. Uh, and so they have been tight. And here's a chance again for Kriso. First touch just difficult for him under pressure. You were talking about Intakashi a few moments ago. And I think Mario Marco Villar, he has been in sensational form. And most importantly, if you take a look at their last few games, they have been unstoppable in the last five matches. They have went on to win four of them. And uh, they have not known defeat for a while now. So that goes without a saying that uh, they have climbed up, they have leapfrogged Real Kashmir. But then again, Real Kashmir will like to log points in this game, which will eventually restore themselves, possibly above uh, the likes of Intakashi. It's a long throw at the moment for Mohammed bin Hamad. Mohammed Hamad, apologies, and a side volley there goes wild. And that has been a weapon for them, the long throw from Mohammed Hamad, time and again. Just troubled. Uh, they've got a goal that way against Izol FC. The Real Kashmir here are unbeaten since seven matches uh, now in a row. Uh, they're in the last five, they have three draws. Uh, that is one concern, but at the same time, they've not lost uh, too many, which is a positive. Their away run has been fantastic uh, this season. While for Mohammedan Sporting as well, uh, they are unbeaten since eight matches. And just a reminder. Mohammedan this season they haven't lost a single game away from home facts and figures of course they play a crucial role in uh, any sport altogether but then as to say that every time you take the field it all boils down to the scratch it all boils down how you're playing at that particular moment a cross coming in from the left look at how the crowd is absolutely loving that as real Kashmir starts piling up the pressure on the visitors here's an opportunity for them 
to try and get their noses ahead. Jeremy on the corner kick. And Jeremy has been an integral part, a crucial one. Uh, delivers the in-swinging one, a header inside, but a foul is the decision. And hence the danger avoided. Jasim just pushed down, I believe, uh, by Shahid Shaheen. Uh, he's been with Mohammedan in the past. Uh, A towering, eclipsing presence of uh, Shahir Shaheen. I think it just makes him that perfect uh, defender. He's someone who slots in as the centre back. And uh, the fact that he uses his burly stature to perfection, it makes it pretty difficult for the encroaching strikers. Carlos Lomba trying to snatch the ball there. A bit of disappointment at the moment for uh, Alexis Gomez. Again, he is also a pivotal figure in the echelons of Mohamedan sporting. And if Mohamedan has to go forward blazing on all guns, they will need Alexis Gomez to take centre stage. But this man out there, Crizo, what a tournament he's having. He's been absolutely sensational. He continues to impress. And he will like more goals coming forth. He will. He has 11 of them and 4 assists too. And you can hear the chants already. And I'm sure there are a few away fans as well for Mohammedan. Uh, they have travelled everywhere. And a free kick for Real Kashmir so far. Very difficult to choose a side who has been uh, better. Carlos Lomba, the Portuguese. Uh, another important part of the success for Real Kashmir. And Jeremy from the left. Uh, solid from Irshad. Uh, most of the attacks so far have come from uh, Real Kashmir though if I'm not mistaken. Apart from a real loss of possession which Mohammedan tried to capitalize on and there's a giveaway. Angusana. This is where Mohammedan are dangerous. Uh, Alexis Gomez thought of a shot. Maybe that, have, that would have been a better option. Well uh, again uh, it was a 50-50 chance I think that through ball, it needed to be slightly better, possibly a bit more weight on the ball could have done the trick. But then as you pointed out, most of the attacks, the majority of the attacks have come from the Snow Leopards themselves. It goes without a saying, you're playing in their home, so they will be uh, opening up their arsenal uh, early out in the game. They will like to uh, get in that early goal which can create the pressure on the visitors. But uh, with that being said, you also need to understand one thing. Morbid and Sporting is no, like, you know, Morbid and Sporting is no stranger to pressure. And the team that they have, they have what it takes to weather the early storm and then eventually go forward, knocking on the doors and possibly find the key to what so far has been a pretty airtight defense by the Snow Leopards. Ishwak Amit, a very, very involved coach always, Kamalissa. He will have to step out of the field because he went down and play was stopped. And from there on, he will have to come back in. That is what the rules and regulations say. Mohamed Arshad on the ball. And Arshad with a square pass. Nice he received there. And now sent it further onto that left wing. A desperate attempt to try and uh, go forward, try and crack open the chance. But Bikas Singh. He was uh, denied. He was not finding out an opening. Well, that's how solid the Real Kashmir defence is. You mentioned a while ago, the ten clean sheets with Mohit Shabir. But the concern is, uh, even though they have, we have always, if on every second match, we have said how strong the defence is and how they've kept clean sheets. But at the same time, uh, they haven't kept a clean sheet in last four matches back to back, which is a concern, of course. Uh, uh, because when you have that in back-to-back -back matches, momentum carries forward. And it is a habit sometimes, uh, scoring goals and conceding as well, winning matches, losing matches. Uh, and uh, hopefully they will recover from it uh, at home. They conceded first against their AFC. Then they fought back, but it was an own goal, if you remember. I think it's again uh, about that consistency. It's about uh, keeping the momentum. You see, you have to understand, in a long tournament like these, there will be pitfalls that you have to navigate. 
and not always can you escape the clutches of them. Here's a chance for Mohamed and Sporting to hit on the break from the left, looking around for a bit of space there. Bikas Singh does well, does very well in fact. The cross comes floating in, what a chance that would have been. A lovely volley on the rise there. It was not an easy one to keep on target. The angle was also pretty much on the difficult side. Looked for the far post and Beniston just trying to be clever. He was thinking of a shot, I'm sure, because Muit Shabir was covering his near post uh, towards Bikash. And uh, there was a gap left open. Not quite connection from Beniston. Yet he has a habit of uh, picking out those surprise goals and assists. Uh, came on last day against... Uh, Neroka and provided on a plate for Eddie Hernandez uh, who's been silent at the moment but David is a key to this Mohammedan side as well. Angusana has got a start today but David even though he's a striker he has uh, been fit in as an attacking midfielder sometimes as a secondary striker to just link up play between uh, midfield and strike and he's done that role so well this season and even then found goals uh, his touches have been uh, brilliant. Uh, maybe a part of the plan, we'll see him later. But right now, a free kick for Mohammedan, lopped long. It just tells you about the versatility of David. And uh, for everyone who's, who's interested, who's intrigued, we are talking about uh, the likes of... Uh, well, we'll get back to that at the moment. This time a ball on to the left there. A long chase has been kept in. And yeah, we're talking about David Hamar. And uh, again, David Hamar, I think uh, one particular thing about him is uh, he has been the most e effective when he's usually come out knocking on the doors in the second half because he stays pretty much on the fresher side and uh, has done well enough in finding those opportunities and finding the back of the net. He has an opportunity for Mohamedan Sporting. It was Eddie Hernandez trying to go in for that cross, but has been denied by the experienced uh, Wayne Vaz. Throw in at the moment. Jasim has gone all the way up. One of uh, the most hard-working uh, wing-backs that you would see. Here comes in a long cross, but couldn't really keep it in. Goes out of play. More of a proper fullback in this Mohammedan formation, but of course, as you mentioned, he has the qualities of playing that wing back role too when needed. Uh, most of the time goes on overlap. Scored a goal against uh, Srinidhi, if I'm not mistaken, and since then uh, it's been him slotting in that right back position. Zuidika who was also a part of that uh, uh, position. He's on the bench today, but they've rotated the squad well whenever needed. The likes of Koslov as well on the bench. Uh, he's been very, very sharp when brought on to action but a flick forward from Crizo. Uh, Jeremy uh, just tries to control it the bounce awkward for him but uh, the attack still on uh, Wayne Vaz uh, he's been a supplier from the left Carlos Lomba uh, giving in the temptation of a shot uh, was never a shot there <coughs> with a the kind of blocking uh, brought in by Kasimov and uh, co I think Mohamedan is doing exactly what is expected of them. They aren't really going forward, blazing on all guns at the moment. They are just keeping things simple. They are dealing with whatever possible uh, attacks are coming up against them. They are not trying to focus more on that attacking front. Yes, if they have got a chance, they have got an opening. They have ensured the fact that they are pressing uh, pretty hard upon that. However, Knowing the kind of firepower that Real Kashmir brings to the table, they do not want to try and poke the leopards straight away in their home. 16 minutes so far. And it looks like the first yellow card has come out. We'll have to confirm though, there was a bit of push. Was there a bit of clip there from Kasimov? Yes, the yellow card is certainly in the hands. We'll quickly confirm who was the man who was uh, handed over. The booking there. Well, we'll shortly confirm, but uh, seems like Alexis Gomez. Uh, and there's the confirmation on your screen. Uh, Alexis Gomez has been booked. Uh, and I fear cards in this fixture. 
We'll talk about that uh, after this free kick. Uh, will Kashmir have a chance? Uh, there's Wayne Vaz uh, and there's Jeremy. A different idea. Still waiting. And a sudden pass forward. And not well executed by Adnan Ayoub. Uh, it was from the training crowns, we understand. Now Adnan forced her back. They have to be careful. Another a bit of... Uh, Hasty challenge there. Angusana pressing. Muichabir almost uh, fumbled again. Escape uh, for the time being. He has to be careful. He has done that in this season once against Delhi FC at their home ground away. And another soft free kick. Eddie Hernandez with the poke from behind. But look at that bench. They are not happy. They are on a mission here. The moment uh, the whistle was blown, the entire moment at Sporting Bench went up in unison, particularly Andrew Chernyshov. He was certainly not happy. We'll quickly try and take, show you there. I think it was pretty okay between Chernyshov and Sher Shaheen. A quick word of admonition there against, uh, Andrew, against Andrew Chernyshov, the towering uh, coach of Mormon and Sporting, of course. Uh, Goes without a saying, he's done a sensational job with the table toppers currently. The referee for the day, Mr. Harish Kondo, is having a slightly hard time there. He's just trying to keep it simple. He's asking the players, calm the tempers down. Free kick here, Shahir Shaheen sends it further forward. There's a chance from the left, a possible cross comes in, straight into the gloves of uh, Padam Chetri, another experienced name under the sticks. And uh, he was in phenomenal touch in the last match, continues to carry on similar form today as well. A wonderful vision from Alexis Gomez and good covering walk from Jeremy tracking back all the way down to stop that attack uh, Jeremy Lalden Puya has been a very special a talent to watch if you are trying to find players who have been picks of the season here's one of them there's a lot of them on pitch today but one sure is Jeremy Chasim with the throw and gets him off well done by Kamalisa or rather was it Griso down there? I'm not sure. But Mohammedan trying to get hold of possession, not yet being able to. 20 minutes played and no goals. Uh, but we are growing into some heat. And you can see those fumbles. The reason? The pressure. And in a big match, pressure is uh, possibly the only constant. The momentum keeps on changing sides, keeps on changing ends. That's another lovely long ball there, kept in. Here comes a long ranger there from Alexis Gomez, but then he was never in a position to try and enforce that one with clinical precision. He didn't really have the opening or the, ang or the angle in his favor either. He took it a bit too early, and as a result, kind of, kind of uh, smashed it wide. Could have done better. Could have think, thought of other ideas, but he has the knack of scoring and shooting from distance. In the opposite order, of course. Uh, play on, says the ref. Wayne Vaz has loved to turn winger at times uh, this season. Uh, we have seen his footwork, his crossing abilities. Uh, not seen that too much before. Clever flick. Uh, but he was tracking back from an offside position. And an offside against... Wayne Vaz, would you believe it? That's how aggressive he's been in his intent and approach. Wayne Vaz has always been a very aggressive player. It's something which is not new. He's a player who takes immense workload. He's a player who really goes forward on those overlaps and drops back in time as well. A very effective wing back. And most importantly, has been a seasoned campaigner, has got a boatload of experience in their arsenal, in his arsenal, in fact. And he likes to utilize that. The captain of Mohammedan Sporting. 
Zoring Liana, of course, uh, he will have a critical role to play today. Joseph Adier, he was leading the black and white brigade in the last game. He's back uh, without his captaincy responsibilities today, so he can play a lot more freely today. But then again, you just cannot take the leadership out of him. The way he mans the defence, the way he rallies and marshals his troops, it's something which is absolutely sensational to watch and something, uh, somewhat of a great lesson that you can always learn from. Throw in in favour of Marvin and Sporting. Just seen with a long throw there. However, has been repelled. And now the possession is back in favour of the Snow Leopards. Well, of course. Uh, and at the same time, it was Joseph uh, who got the red card in the previous uh, meeting when Real Kashmir travelled to Kolkata. 3-0 victory for Real Kashmir. That was the first defeat for Muhammad in this season and only, of course. And uh, that was a heated encounter. Shahid Shaheen got a goal. Kriso got two goals. And Joseph Ajay, the man you mentioned, who captained the last game, uh, got that red card. A very intense, uh, as expected. Muhammad Hamad with the long throw. Can Real Kashmir take the lead? A sudden shot from... Uh, Ramdina not uh, helping. Can that be a counter launched? Oh, clever from Bikash. Recovers and still on the ball. A number of white shirts there. And pulled down. And Alexis Gomez is asking for a card. And maybe rightfully enough. I reckon he had to release the ball early. Couldn't really get into the position. There was constant tussle uh, between that uh, real Kashmir player and uh, Alexis there. In fact, it was Vikas Singh, possibly, uh, who was there in the tussle. Kasimov now. Back to Zoring Liana. Very poor there from Zoring Liana. Could have done better. He had all the time in the world. No pressure altogether on his shoulders. But then he still managed to pull off. Kind of a forced error there. And now trying to find up an opening moment in Sporting. Pressing hard. Eddie Hernandez close enough to Mohit Shabir. And Mohit Shabir had to rush. Eventually clearing the danger lines at the expense of a throw there. It looks like while he was clearing the ball, there was uh, a bit of collision with the towering uh, Honduras striker, Eddie Hernandez. We'll see more of that once the game grows. A very physical side, real Kashmir, but at the same time, oh well, that is concerning because he has a heavy strapping on that right knee. Uh, Mohit Shabir has been fantastic throughout the season. And hopefully he'll be all right uh, very important for Real Kashmir. Uh, talking about options, uh, they have uh, Shivam Kiran in the on the bench. Haven't seen him a lot uh, uh, this season. It has been all Mohit Shapir. Uh, responsibilities on him because of uh, his abilities, of course. No question marks uh, on that. Fast flowing game. Uh, pretty sunny here in Srinagar. Since you talked about the bench, I think both the teams, they come up with a very star-studded bench. The likes of uh, Sohan Hilal Siddiqui in Real Kashmir's uh, bench, followed by Ifam Mir. Also the likes of Mohamed and Nam as well. And do not forget uh, Dion Menezes and Henry Kiseka to follow suit. For Mohamed and Sporting though, oh, there was a cross coming in from the right. We were talking about the visitors out of nowhere. A sudden probe there and real Kashmir again not really under the pump I would say but then a few questions are being asked corner Alexis Gomez on the ball he's gonna flick that in from the right Alexis swinging out of Beniston under pressure he felt a pull I'm sure but not enough to be given as a penalty it got the shot as well and Mohammedan continue to build up from the back this time for the first time i would say in this game they've got possession from the back line to build up or maybe one two rare chances uh, apart from that it has been a loss of possession in the final third on the midfield oh that is uh, nasty from shahir shaheen 
I would be surprised if there's no card. The card is out already. Just letting Eddie Hernandez know you are in Real Kashmir's den. The way Sher Shaheen went about with that foul, I mean, uh, it goes without a saying there. That was uh, bound to be booked. Look at this one. Mohamed Ashant sends it forward. Eddie Hernandez. Oh, wow. That was uh, more of uh, Kung Fu altogether than football. Nowhere near the ball at all. He'll be lucky that it didn't go with the studs. It would have been a different color altogether. But a yellow card. And that's difficult when your center back is on a yellow. That, I would say, is very, very irresponsible from such a massive player. He's a very, very strong presence in the back line. But now that in the first half itself, you're on a yellow. Over an hour to play with that. Uh, Chasim on the overlap. Oh, felt an elbow. Has gone down, clutching the ground. Play on, says the ref. Uh, we'll see the replay later. But he still stayed on the ground. Uh, Muhammad Hamad uh, towards uh, Shahid Nasir from the right, looking for options. Uh, he still stayed down, and the referee will eventually stop play. It was uh, Piniston, is it? Uh, we'll have a look in the replay if possible. Looks like he's uh, copped a blow to the gut, a possible elbow maybe. And uh, he's pretty much in agony. And Rishon Ashov and Dipendu Baswas having a very close eye on this game. We'll try and show you what really happened there. Well, uh, I reckon while they were turning, Wayne Vaz must have uh, had a bit of a uh, hurl of the arms there. And it's always good to see crowds. It's always good to see high numbers in attendance. And I think that just tells you so much about Indian football. The growing, the revolutionizing scenes in Indian football. Definitely Kashmir has embraced the sport as its uh, very own. And the way real Kashmir has been dishing out their trade. It's something glorious to watch. That's a slightly miscued ball. And... Uh, the captain, Zoring Liana, takes advantage. Deflects it uh, of one of the real Kashmir players and gets it out for a throw-in. As expected. A lot of drama involved. Eddie doesn't like that challenge. Uh, I'm sure about that as well. Zoring Liana intervenes. Uh, not a great pass, but... Uh, the important part in such kind of games is we've seen such happen in derbies too, you know, very heated up games. But the important part is if you can hold on your mind, your composure, and go ahead, bring out a result, get the goals. That is very important because one team tries to get you off your focus. And if you fall in that temptation, then your game is done and dusted. That is sometimes a strategy as well to catch you off guard. And starting Liana finds uh, Kasimov eventually. You see, football being a body contact sport, football being a team sport, the moment you start getting under your opposition's skin, that is where a lot of things can change. Because uh, you will need all your 11 players on the pitch. Let's say if you are uh, getting yourself in the bait that your opposition has uh, laid out for you, you may end up losing a player just trying to react, just trying to uh, possibly counter the uh, invectives or maybe a bit of sledging that your opposition does and as a result uh, you end up going down numerically which isn't a very good sign but then in football as they say that everything is fair in love and war this is certainly a war and real Kashmir they will try and take every single opportunity that comes their way Carlos Lomba with the free kick Floats it into the mix and very well taken care of by Marvin Sporting. The rebound falling at their feet once again. However, Marvin and Sporting keeping their guards up high. And a very keen side to ensure that no danger befalls them. Padam Chetri collects, but I was just about to add, there is no love at the moment. Only a heated up clash going on, of course, on field. And they will both try to get three points uh, the aggressive intent it sometimes just adds on more flavor to enjoy 
till it's on the ground of course and it is uh, that way yeah, both these teams have quality on pitch two quality sides on display need to try and do better to find uh, or break each other it's a very tough ask uh, one rare blemish where they conceded uh, three Mohammedan apart from that uh, they have been strong in defense too Carlos uh, Lomba back to Muhit Shabir who clears his lines uh, and is looking long but Joseph is strong that's a steal uh, Jeremy has space opening up uh, thought of a shot uh, for once and now Adnan from the right uh, tried to be too precise uh, and couldn't keep it in play Crizo was approaching and he's a towering figure in the box Padam Chetri had it covered that was a good looking cross there possibly was going for the far post because uh, Crizo was reaching out for it Crizo has got long levers and make good use of those balls but then uh, at times you need to be a bit more precise a bit more creative with your crossing chances with your crossing opportunities possibly hold on to the ball a little longer and that has been sent downtown kind of an easy giveaway but Mohammedan couldn't capitalize real Kashmir on the prowl looking around for a bit of space ahead but the defense of Mohammedan sporting it keeps on standing tall and look at the tussles there Alexis Gomez will have to be slightly careful he's on a booking already And uh, this time, uh, that push has attracted the referee's eyes and he's called for a foul. It was Beniston Barreto. Oh, that clearly. There, the ball was nowhere close by. Angusana said, let's have a bit of wrestle. But tell you what, uh, Jeremy also made a meal of that. It wasn't too much uh, of contact or trying to pull him down. Just the hand used. And he knew when there's contact. And if you go down... There's a chance you'll get a free kick and they have. Ramdina been involved in the last few matches. Uh, tries to chip it forward. Uh, important touch from Zoring Liana. Uh, but a corner for Real Kashmir. Just growing into the game. You get a feel. This has been a slow start in terms of uh, goal bound opportunities. But they are growing and creating a stage for a heated up second half. A lightning fast one. And now, the final few minutes of the first half will be end-to-end -end as well. Carlos Lomba with the corner. Floats it into the mix, headed to safety there by Eddie Hernandez. You will see him everywhere. You will see him scoring goals. You will see him coming down to defend. You will see him in the midfield as well. Another attempt to try and get the ball into the box there. Well defended there by Marvin and Sporting. And Carlos Lomba will come up with another throw in. And it looks like Eddie Hernandez uh, is being handed over a yellow card as well. Now that's intriguing. Crizo on the ball, twist and turns, but finally couldn't really add on to the pressure. Kamalissa has a shooting range, takes the shot. Could have been close there. It was... Uh, Mighty near to the woodwork and Padam Chetri did leap in time but the ball wheezed past him. What a chance there. Well, Kamalisa sets him up for with the first touch and that rose with the crowd. Could have been the first for Real Kashmir. The Mohammedan need to be careful. They cannot leave that little bit of space open for Real Kashmir to capitalize. Headed forward here. Awkward angle. Ready Hernandez uh, heads it towards uh, Beneston. Clever. Just him. Now cast him off. Uh, there was a push off the ball. They get up, says Harish Kundu. Chabir, he has been in fine touch since the last game. The goal that he conceded against uh, Delhi FC. There wasn't much that he could have done on that goal. He went for a full stretch dive, but then it was well beyond his reach. And now Crizo has the ball. Took a bit longer 
kind of allowed. There comes another long ranger, a dipping one. And the questions are now getting stronger. The probes are getting deeper. Well, Kasimov, he could have picked up a yellow had Kriso gone down, but he was more interested in uh, getting the shot off, uh, which he did well enough eventually, but a deflection on the way. And one more corner, real Kashmir enjoying a more of attacking possession inside the Mohammedan half. Uh, at this time, it will be Jeremy. Can he deliver quality in swinging? towards Padam Chetri, more to the far post, and Shahid Shaheen lost track of it, lost the flight. It's now what, what was initially, what was usually a KG affair to kickstart proceedings there, is now changing course. And that is uh, almost a howler there. Joseph Adie completely misjudged. Uh, the speed of the ball on that occasion and a lovely run there from the real Kashmir attacker was trying to pick the pockets of the visitors and that would have been kind of a terrifying goal to concede to be very honest however Mohammedan Sporting got the job done managed to clear their danger lines this has been a pretty fairy first half pretty eventful one as well that's another lovely ball trying to latch onto it from the left was uh, none other than Bikas Singh. Took a bit longer for him. However, that uh, went out of play. Throw in in favour of Real Kashmir. Shahid Nazir has uh, made his spot, made that spot his own in place of uh, Haider Yusuf, who is uh, not available for today's uh, game. A bit of injury concerns too might be the reason. Shahid Nazir with another throw in. Will we see a goal in the first half itself uh, is a question. And we'll wait for the answer. Five more minutes of regulation time after this. Uh, and a few more will be added on. Sure, missing the likes of Rem Sangha on that uh, right hand side. Uh, the Neston has done well and uh, not uh, criticizing him. But at the same time, five goals and four assists and nine goal contributions uh, from Rem Sangha. Such a key on that right flank. But another free kick for Real Kashmir. Two fouls now from for Kasimov and tell you what that will build up to a card sooner or later if he continues doing that. Twelve fouls in all. Five of them from Real Kashmir. Seven of them from Mohamed and Sporting. Kamal Issa with the free kick. Goes for a long one towards the far post. What a brilliant opportunity. However, goes begging. It was Shahid Shaheen once again showcasing how he can use that towering stature of his and a sensational delivery from Kamalissa. Brilliant opportunity. Barely eluding the sticks there. Padam Chetri had his eyes on the ball, however. Third time now. Third time, Mohammedan survive. Uh, this is the difference. That little bit inches. And that's the difference uh, between that one goal, uh, Real Kashmir, uh, trying to find, and uh, the score line reading zero. The Neston forced back on the way to Irshad. Uh, they look to create some attacks of their own right now. Mohammedan spotting. Uh, they have won three matches and six meetings against uh, Real Kashmir and so is the case for Real Kashmir. 3-2-3 three, three on the head-to-head. -head. And uh, they look to increase their tally, take the lead. And they have uh, got all those potential, but the potential is still in the back right now because Real Kashmir are creating more of those chances. Uh, Bikash, and now Kasimov. In the last game, Bhashwar, between Real Kashmir and Delhi FC, we predicted that possibly there was a goal around the corner and a couple of minutes later, Gurtej pounded one into the back of the net in favour of Delhi FC against Real Kashmir. What do you think? Uh, is there a goal coming around in the corner? Because Real Kashmir has finally started upping the ante. They have finally started 
getting in more chances than usual, taking those long ranges. And truth be told, those long ranges haven't exactly been uh, pretty far off. And this time, uh, here comes in a long pass. Vikas Singh was trying to tussle there in order to clinch uh, the possession for himself, but was outmuscled on that occasion. Well, and to answer that question, uh, Real Kashmir, even though they have got uh, three back-to-back -back draws, at the same time, it is so difficult to score against Real Kashmir. How rarely, very rarely, do they concede oh, under pressure. Padam Chetri clears it, but very rarely do they concede more than a goal. They conceded against Churchill Brothers and against uh, Srinidhi Deccan. But apart from that, oh, Eddie Hernandez uh, has got on to that. Uh, and now is his chance uh, for the first time in this match. We saw him driving inside the box. And now Kamalisa, a strong physical battle still on. Brilliantly done. And he has run out of space. Uh, and this is what makes this game entertaining. 50-50 on possession. As uh, well, apart from the shots that I'm sure, it is very neck-to-neck. -neck, uh, starting Liana will move forward with that uh, Ishad has the attacking qualities blocked uh, will be very keen to see if David Lalansanga is brought on in the second half I reckon he will be goes without a saying because uh, he is one of the key components of this Mohammedan sporting attacking unit so yes of course he will be introduced in all likelihood, of course, I am not Andre Shonishova, so I am reading the game from uh, my perspective. Andre Shonishov certainly has his own. But then, uh, the kind of games that we have seen, the kind of substitutions that we have seen, whenever Mohamedan Sporting has needed goals, uh, David Hamar has been brought out on the in the second half, particularly close to that 55-60 uh, minute mark. That kind of allows him to unleash that wildness which he has. And now a bit of entanglement of boots there. Players going down. I think that was slightly unnecessary there. That back flick that was being brought out. <laughs> After the incident, of course. Uh, uh, that was... Uh, and, and things tend to get heated up in such closely fought matches. Uh, and when the teams are so strong. Real Kashmir right now are at fourth. Uh, suddenly. Well, I believe a little lower than that. Uh, with those points being lost. 36 points at the moment. Uh, uh, they will look for three crucial points to get on to 39. few seconds uh, before we find out how much is added on. And the throw in for Real Kashmir. Uh, Muhammad Hamad uh, from near the midfield. Uh, leading his team with purpose from the back. Has done his job well. Kriso gets a touch and controls. Uh, trying to run past uh, Joseph. Joseph doesn't like that. Uh, but uh, he has to be aware. Wouldn't love to see a card for such a silly argument. Joseph Fadier versus Kriso. That is a rivalry that will be worth savoring. Two minutes of additional time has been given at the end of the first half. Throw in in favour of the Snow Leopards. I think Padam Chetri. He's just trying to ensure the fact that there aren't any loopholes in the rear guard of the Mohammedan Sporting. Uh, because uh, these throws from Mohammed Ahmad, they have proven to be pretty game-changing almost again. Padam Chetri had his eyes on the ball. He's also pretty clinical with the gloves on. Here's another long ball, decent box-to-box -box action. But then Mohit Shabir picks it up and sends it back further downtown. Too long that one from uh, Padam Chetri was looking for an option. Now Kasimov avoided four yellow shirts but found the fifth one in the back. Uh, Kriso. Heavy first touch. Oh, and another solid challenge. Uh, not a card worthy one, of course. Uh, but a strong one from Adnan Ayub. Yeah, he almost kind of clattered out there. And uh, look at how strong he was, Kasimov, despite he being the one who was leaping, he being the one who was actually charging into the opposition. It was he who went down. And the crowd, uh, they're loving the game. What a special way 
to celebrate a Saturday afternoon. Final few seconds of the first half remaining. We are still to witness the first goal. Free kick in favour of uh, Mohamedan Sporting. It's going to be Joseph Adie. And that should be it at the end of first half. As things stand, it's all square at uh, the TRC football turf in Srinagar. As Real Kashmir and Mohamedan Sporting, the two titans right now, still struggle to find the back of the net. We won't say that chances weren't there. Chances were certainly there, but they weren't capitalised on. And as a result, we are still to see the ball to get into the back of the net. But nonetheless, uh, you never know how these teams can change complexion. It's a matter of uh, a single moment. It's a matter of momentary madness. And the entire game would turn on its head. That's the numbers for you from the first half. 49% ball possession for Real Kashmir. 51 for Mohamedan Sporting. Six shots from Real Kashmir. And none of them have been on target so far. Two of them from Mohamedan Sporting. None of them on target either. Seven fouls each. One yellow card for Real Kashmir. Two yellow cards for Mohamedan Sporting. Three corners for the Snow Leopards. And just one for the Visitors. And there are the six shots. All of which missed the target. Adnan Ayub, Carlos Lomba, Kamalesa, Krizo, Randina and Shahir Shaheen. All of them having one attempt each. And uh, had they done better with those attempts, maybe we could have seen a goal. They came near to closing with uh, Shahid Shaheen's header and Krizo's shot as well. And the two shots from Mohammedan, One from Beneston, one from Alexis uh, Gomez from a, a good distance uh, out uh, We'll see the fouls as well. But I'll tell you, a uh, few game changes. We can change the game for Mohammedan. Not really predicting because you cannot in such a game. Seven fouls with Wayne Vasa on two of them. Carlos Lomba, Kamalisa, Krizo, Ramdina and Shahi Shaheen with one each. And the cards came out too. And that is where they have to be careful. Shahi Shaheen with that high knee on Eddie Hernandez. Uh, getting himself into the books. Talking about fouls, Marvin and Sporting also had inflicted seven of them. Kasimov with a couple of them. Adinga with one. Alexis, Angu, Benestin and Eddie Hernandez. All of them committing one foul each. Which means this is a pretty physical encounter. A glimpse of which you can catch in the upcoming highlights. Well, and there's how the story went. Uh, it was... Uh, both the sides uh, who came in with equal motivation. The Real Kashmir took a majority of those attacks in uh, their favour. A cross in, a teasing one. Padam Chetri was there in most of such occasions. But this chance for Beniston could have just tried to flick it back towards uh, Eddie Hernandez. But he went for goal, seeing the net open. And which Shabir not marking it well. Well, it was Angusana in the box uh, on the second look. Uh, and chances kept coming. This was uh, another lovely bit of run. This was the shot from Kamalissa. Tested Padam Chetri well. And look at how the crowd went up as well. And then Krizo trying his luck from distance. Figuring out that it was not going to be easy. This was that uh, rare slip up. That was almost exploited by Real Kashmir. But then Joseph Adie regaining his senses in the last moment. Another opportunity that went begging Kamalissa. With that uh, lovely free kick towards the far post. Uh, Shahid Shaheen couldn't really keep it on target before things came to a close in the first half. And the result, currently, Real Kashmir 0, Mohammedan Sporting Club 0. We'll now be diving into a short breather and return with the second half of the contest.
we were talking about substitutions and guess what Mohammedan Sporting has straight away introduced David Hamar in place of uh, Beniston Barreto. And for everyone joining in now, just to give you all a heads up, uh, as things stand here in the valley, Real Kashmir and Mohammedan Sporting are locked in a 0-0 impasse. They've tried hard. Real Kashmir came pretty close to it scoring. These two coaches, they will play an important role as the match progresses. Ishfaq Ahmed on the sidelines of the Snow Leopards and Andrei Chernyshov leading the Black and White Brigade from the sidelines. Who gets the first goal? Who manages to open the deadlock right now? A lot of questions will be there on the horizon. And answers will be expected. Look at how the crowd is absolutely loving this encounter. Why not? Why not? When Real Kashmir started their journey, it was nothing short of a fairy tale. And off we go in the second half. After the customary shuffle inside, attacking on your frame from the left to the right, dressed in their away jersey is Mohammed and Sporting. But in attacking from on your screen from the right to the left and their signature yellow and black are the snow leopards and that is real Kashmir. Mohit Chabir haven't been tested much. It'll be expected that uh, Mohammed and Sporting is able to probe him a bit too more than they have so far. The last time these two teams met it was a 3-0 scoreline in favour of the Snow Leopards. This time though, Andrew Shonisov said, revenge is the, buzz is the buzzword in the camp. Well indeed, uh, welcome back to all the viewers. Uh, Kriso, they are appealing as he felt an elbow from Joseph. Uh, a similar start. There was a push from him initially, and he's appealing for elbow. That is surprising. Some fiery characters on pitch, really. Uh, Crizo and uh, Joseph J. And they would want to get the goals. Crizo, especially, has scored two against Mohammedan in their past meeting. But as I was uh, saying at the ending stages of first half, uh, when we're moving into the break, uh, about a few game changers so which can change the game for Mohammedan Sporting. It's a steal by Jeremy. And I would say the game changers today can be David Lalan Sangha, Samuel Lalman Puya, and uh, Kozlov, uh, who might just come on later. Of course, Sheikh Paya has two, but one of them already on. It's David Lalan Sangha, but Real Kashmir are the ones in attack. Uh, stolen by Kasimov. Uh, He's not happy, Krizo, and so are the fans. And a free kick for Mohammed, and a yellow card for Wayne Vaz. He knew what he was doing. Tell you what, it might have looked different, but he's a left full back on overlap, dragged in to stop that attack. Now, good refereeing. I Sorry to cut you off, Rohit, but uh, good refereeing from Harish Kundu. That's completely fine, Vashwar. And uh, here comes Real Kashmir. Possibly lining up for a shot there, but went a bit too acute, went a bit too far. Now trying to set up. Wasted too much time on the ball, should have released it earlier. Which means Mohamedan Sporting can now go on the prowl, can look around for an opening. And uh, David Hamar for the first time with a touch on the ball. And on that last occasion, as you were pointing out, I think Wayne Vals was already warned a couple of times. He was uh, playing a pretty physical brand of football. Now it's going to be interesting to see how he adapts himself uh, to the current situation. That's another long delivery into the opposition box there. Not exactly the proficient start to the second half that you were expecting. More of a checkered exchange right now. More of a KG affair, I would say. Yes, Real Kashmir once again starting to pressurize Mohammed and Sporting but then uh, eventually it should be the execution that will count it should eventually be that opening goal there unless you score no matter how good you have been on the pitch no matter what you have done in the past none of that would count
Shahid Nazir with the throw in. It was a long direct approach uh, from Real Kashmir. Again, a high foot coming in. Not a dangerous one, hence uh, no card, but a foul and a free kick. This time it was uh, Kamalisa driving in from the center. Sarring Liana will take uh, the free kick. It's, uh, Adinga has got a goal to his name as well, along with two assists. Uh, leading the side from the back. Now Alexis Gomez, can he keep it in? Almost did. Probably he entirely did, but just gives away possession. Real Kashmir on the ball all the way back to Moet Shabir. Moet plays it on the ground to Shahir Shaheen, who does well. Yeah, that's a clip from the back there, Kamalisa. I think he knew instantly that uh, he wasn't in a position there to clinch the ball. Ended up clipping uh, Kasimov, and that's a lovely ball there from Kasimov. Now coming in all the way from the right, Alexis Gomez with the cross, eventually lacking direction there. Mormon and Sporting trying to possibly test the defence of the Snow Leopards, trying to unlock that door which has been slammed shut on their face. Do they have what it takes to kind of tear it down open? Or uh, will the Snow Leopards prevail in this rip-roaring, in this uh, barnstorming encounter? That's a decent bit of work. Kept it under control. And now trying to force their way. One against two there. Bikas Singh was the one responsible for that lovely run. The ball's back with Marvin and Sporting. Wanted to play one-two there. And I reckon that pull from behind has allowed Marvin and Sporting to get a free kick in their favour. Bikash was outnumbered there. Where Tadinga was in the mix. Uh, just clipped from behind. Eddie Hernandez uh, caught a touch. But uh, the advantage uh, was not really to be taken. And again, that is, uh, I would say, good from Harish Kundu. Because uh, he allowed the advantage initially to see if Eddie can control it. But he uh, didn't. Uh, I think I felt there was a card. Uh, and now a free kick. A very dangerous range when you have uh, uh, the prowess of Alexis Gomez, Kasimov, uh, and uh, all those uh, attacking names uh, on your team. Uh, Alexis Gomez just focusing, getting his measurements, uh, and now he comes uh, with a different idea. Across from the left, uh, and no one had that spot to try and head it in. Slowly and steadily, the visitors are now starting to frequent the opposition half. That's the second time that they have uh, launched a foray of their own in quick succession. But how successful will they be? Only time shall tell. That should be a throw. Carlos Lomba trying to keep the ball in. Jasim has gone up quite a bit of distance there. Alex is... Uh, did well in order to try and nutmeg uh, Wayne Vaz. Was successful, but then Shair Shaheen had a close follow-up. Kept a close stab on the prolific Argentine striker. And now Kamalissa trying to find an opening. The last couple of minutes, uh, Mohamed and Sporting are increasing pressure in the real Kashmir half. Even though nothing conclusive, nothing uh, categorical has found its way. Oh, that's a great first start. Still pulled from behind. But Criso continues. He has seen a wonderful ball through. Adnan Ayub wouldn't get to that. Uh, the tough helping Mohammedan just takes it away from Adnan Ayub. But uh, that is quality from Criso. The first touch to control it. And they're under pressure, being pulled down, but still manages to hold on and find a pass through. Mohammedan are feeling the heat in the cold. It would have been uh, an incredible pass if you'd have received that. And now Eddie Hernandez almost uh, spotting that space ahead of him. And now coming in from the right. In fact, trying to come in from the right, 
Bass was created. Alexis Gomez uh, hasn't exactly been at his phenomenal best today, has been kept pretty much on the silent side. There has been a lot of friction every single time Alexis has got hold of possession. Well, there has been. He has not been allowed to play the free role which he likes to. And is there a change? We'll wait to find out. A little breather for the players. Uh, meanwhile, Carlos Lomba has been such a crucial part of Real Kashmir's plans. Uh, it's been off and on in the last few games. Uh, Criso hasn't fired yet. Uh, and the two top goal scorers uh, of the tournament, uh, of course, behind Alex Sanchez, uh, one of them, Eddie Hernandez, with 13 goals to his name, and Criso with 11. Both of them haven't got uh, their chances in front today. Kasimov uh, struggling a bit. Uh, a like for like option available in the form of Juan Carlos uh, Nella. Another Argentine in uh, the Mohammedan SC setup. I would really appreciate how Mohammedan Sporting has actually built their team this year. And, and to be honest, it isn't built over a period of a month or, you know, a week or something. It has been a long and hard work. As they say that Rome was not built in a day. This team that they currently have, it felt like they were building a puzzle altogether. And eventually, they have found out that the pieces are now being rightly slotted in. And the rewards are for everyone to see. Something similar with Real Kashmir as well. And both these teams, the way they rely on their local talents, I think that is something that the Indian footballing scene can learn from them. Real Kashmir, like the way they have relied on the likes of Mohamed Hamad, the captain of the side, and definitely also uh, bringing in some decent, some seasoned Indian talent into the mix. The likes of Wayne Vaz as well. I mean, that is just uh, great to watch. Kriso in the box. Here comes uh, the cross, and uh, somehow it has gone a bit too far for Real Kashmir's liking. Kamalisa. Will he line up for a shot there? Sends in a cross, but a pretty tame one at the end of the day. Easy pickings for the Mohammedan sporting defence. Oh, but look at David. How well does he shield the ball and control it? That is his speciality. David Lalan Sangha. He knows very well to hold on to uh, possession. Look at that. Uh, th this was more later uh, than he got onto possession. But this is one thing I have missed among Indian strikers and forward players. The last time I saw someone uh, do that uh, was JJ Lalpeklua. His ability to hold the ball just behind the striker and create that bit of space. That is something what uh, David has been doing. Very promising. And Ishad moving forward now. Missed pass. Uh, Alexis. Uh, he's the one who is uh, playing on that right channel uh, right now. I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Koslov coming in. Throw in from Chasim. Now Angusana. Pays it towards David. Still holds on. Beautifully done. And perfectly timed towards the left. Bikash looking to find Eddie Hernandez. Just escapes his path. Was there a deflection on the way? Looks like... A lovely cross once again, despite the fact that Eddie Hernandez wasn't exactly in the position to head it in a much more convincing fashion. The corner for Mohamedan Sporting, another chance for them. Alexis, who has actually been kept silent today, this is a chance for uh, him to try and pry open the doors. Here comes Alexis. And that's a very overpowered pass. Another floater into the mix. Uh, Eddie Hernandez almost point blank range. Should have done better than that. Yes, uh, there was a marker. Trying to relieve him of the possession. It was not going to be an easy one. But then someone of Eddie's stature, you expect better from him. Almost a free header for him actually. Couldn't uh, time his jump well enough. Was not expecting that maybe. Well, the height was a bit extra on that. Mujabir goes long. Not sure if he found that well. Stolen back. And look at the difference which David has brought in straight away. 
And those second balls being won in that attacking third. And he's trying to get some momentum in favor of uh, Mohammedan Sporting. But now Real Kashmir back in attack. Uh, sliding in was Kasimov. Uh, thankfully, it didn't get much of the man. And Padam Chetri will collect it. Near the hour mark now, still all square between uh, the two big sides. Uh, Real Kashmir and Mohammedan Sporting. Irshad on the ball. Sends it further forward, but a slightly miscued pass there. Kriso wins it for his team, and this can be a lovely run. Jeremy on the ball, comes up with a shot there. Opportunity denied. Kamalissa almost. And Joseph Adier, look at how strong and tall he stands under the six. A defender putting in all his effort there. Look at how Padam Chetri expressing his gratitude to Joseph Adier at the moment. Well, Jeremy does well to find a shot from that angle. Not cleanly collected, but Joseph. Well, he has seen a red card in the previous fixture, but he is the trump card at the moment for Mohammedan saving their day. Kamalisa could have done better, but I would say the pressure from Joseph did the job and that is why the praises for him if he allowed the free header it was uh, an easy easy tap in for Kamalisa he cannot believe it that Muhammad and they are being knocked on the door and they need to step up which they are trying to uh, but an extra step unnecessary they're living dangerously uh, at the moment real Kashmir no matter how much uh, you keep them off there will be occasions where they will come uh, almost uh, barging through your doors and possibly sneaking in a goal even if it's against the turn of the play that's how good they are they usually tiptoe their way to the gates of victory they're very subtle and that is why it's kind of difficult for the opposition to track all those menacing runs and track all those uh, menacing uh, positional shifts and changes Kriso what a what a game this has been for him as well here comes the cross this time though Padam Chetri collects it a lot more cleaner than the last time and look at how Joseph Adie is very closely circling Padam at the moment it just tells you brilliant chemistry between these two players and tells you how good the communication is and that does half of the job for your team's defense guarding that goal line like a precious gem precious chest there and they were trying to feed it through but look at the atmosphere as well it is a packed right now in the background they know how important this match is real kashmir again in the attack enough pressure back to padam chetri and look at that background this is one venue and the other one is the ssa stadium in shillong fierce home fans they love their team and wonderful atmosphere mm. Chasim controls and plays it forward and Jeremy just brings his man down and a free kick for Mohammedan you talked about uh, the SSA Stadium you talked about the DRC football turf and the kind of vociferous support that the teams get one particular addition to this list we haven't seen uh, too many I-League games played off late in that venue uh, but then, every single time football is hit the yard at Yoba Bharati Krirangan in Kolkata, I think the support that we usually refer to, it simply gets toppled and tussled. The, the noise out there, the vociferous singing and the drum beats and the ombines all together, it just changes and it's glorious to watch. Lovely from Jeremy and a free kick. Uh, but the work before that is what makes me say that word here. Just look at that, how well controlled. Flicks it past uh, Jasim and Kasimov, then avoids the challenge. Uh, but eventually brought down by Irshad. Such a life where in this real Kashmir attack, uh, Jeremy Laldin Puya. One good thing about uh, Mohammedan Sporting Defense has been the understanding between them. Carlos Lomba with the free kick there. Launches it into the box. Crazo! 
out jumps his marker. In fact, it looks like it wasn't Creaso. We'll have to wait and watch. But that was a powerful header. It was Shah Shaheen, actually. Again, a pretty tall uh, contender. And he has getting back to what we were talking about the moment in the sporting defence. The way they are backing each other, if you see that uh, despite dribbling past one of the defender, uh, Real Kashmir is mostly running into the opposition defence, into the opposition rear guard. Yeah, that was a nice uh, jump there from uh, Shahid Shaheen. And most importantly, he was taking on another tall contender there, Eddie Hernandez. Well, and there was a sudden chance for Real Kashmir while we were talking. And look at the support for Kriso, the support uh, uh, for Real Kashmir. Uh, just admiring the fans there, Kriso. But another escape time and again. They're living dangerously, Mohammed, and they need to find something special. And uh, well, we'll find out if Mohammed have an answer to all the questions being asked. Padam Chetri uh, goes long. And that's a mistake uh, from Wayne Vaz, a rare one. And now David Lalansanga towards uh, Angusana. They look to combine better. Sl soft touch towards uh, Angusana. Kasimov has found, uh, well, that was uh, Alexis Gomez rather, has found uh, uh, David. Uh, David trying to move inside the box. Uh, very intelligent. And now Alexis Gomez, uh, wayward. And uh, just a bit of frustration creeping in too. Not happy with himself. Will he be taken off? They have a couple of good options on the bench, to be honest. Uh, they have got uh, Kozlov, who was in brilliant touch in the last game. They have also got uh, the likes of Juan Carlos Nella. So yes, it's not that Mohamedan Sporting is actually short of options. But the question is, when does Andrei Shonashov decides to bring them on? Because uh, today hasn't been Alexei's day at all. But then the, the thing with these uh, quality players is that... Uh, even if they are having a bad game, one moment of instinctive brilliance and it all changes. That's a lovely run there. Oh, that's a brilliant cut in. Should be a penalty, is it? Well, looks like the referee is not interested by that. And it is possibly a dive there. From the initial perspective, it looked like there was a clip. And I think there isn't uh, much uh, protest from Abhikar Singh either. We'll see that again, but the referee is booking him for simulation. Was there a foot in from uh, Ramdina? And this angle doesn't really help our uh, conclusion, but Bikash has gone into the books for uh, a simulation. Not often do we see that from Bikash. He's not complaining much, but uh, I would say another angle would just help us. But debatable, the referee had a very close look at it. Lucky escape. Very lucky one. I think there was a bit of uh, soft touch there. And possibly Bikash wanted to make a mountain out of it. The referee said it was not going to work. And that's kind of a very easy giveaway. Now real Kashmir will have the possession. Mohamed Ahmad sends it further forward. Intercepted there. Does well. Square pass attempted. Intercepted. Kamalissa sends it forward. Kriso with the ball against two defenders there. A bit of slip up in the end from Wayne Vaz. Allows Mohamedan Sporting to regain possession. Jeremy asking for a corner there. I reckon the last touch was of him. He was asking because he thought it rolled out of play there. Uh, but it was just on the line maybe. Mohamedan and Royal Kashmir both giving away possession easily it's been a story of quicker exchanges uh, here exchange of possession I would say more than anything Carlos Lomba now Mohammedan look in better shape defensively which was missing in the first half uh, he'll have to take that throw again or maybe not uh, Kasimov uh, moves uh, forward no not Finding options, uh, still twisting and turning in the midfield. As Angusana in support, needed to release it quicker. 
the release uh, from both the teams today, I think it hasn't been really up to the mark. The kind of gentry that we have seen so far from these two teams, I think they will do better to release it on time. We've seen both the teams struggling with when exactly to set the ball up. Zoring Diana sending it further forward to Eddie Hernandez. Eddie Hernandez versus Mohamed Hamad, the captain. Hernandez does well, sets it up for David Hamar. David Hamar with a bit of twist and turn. Joseph. And that should be a foul. Failed to nudge uh, from Crizo. I'm not sure if there's too much. Both of them having a strapping on their knees. Uh, always a concern, but uh, he's clutching his hamstring. That doesn't uh, look good. And look at that. The left hamstring just clutching that as soon as he went down. This might be trouble for Mohammedan. Uh, they have uh, Samad on the bench. Uh, Samad Ali Malik, Karandeep and uh, Takchim James Singh as well. Zuidika too among defensive options. But uh, Joseph J is such a key for uh, Mohammedan spotting. Still on the ground. The physio will have a check. That is concerning. You were talking about the possible options that Mohammedan Sporting can replace Joseph with. But the kind of football that Joseph has played so far in this game, I would say he's irreplaceable. So, I think he's walking all right. So, that means uh, it was just a nudge on the hamstring possibly. It certainly isn't a pop or uh, a strain either. I reckon Joseph is back in the game. Yeah, he's okay. He's, he's good to go. And they need him. And uh, he'll be trying to do his best for the team. They are just four laps away from finishing on a high. And talking about finishing on a high, Alexis Gomez. Uh, uh, it is a corner. And he was appealing for a possible handball. Two close. Uh, three corners uh, each. Uh, and it will be Alexis Gomez uh, from uh, the corner kick. It will be in swinging. He has done some miracle from the corner last season in the I League. Does he pull up something extraordinary again? Can he do some magic for Muhammad and Alexis Gomez too far this time? Shahi Shaheen was always uh, ever so present. And now Kasimov under pressure. Oh, that will be a handball, I believe. A bit of smiles, a bit of banter between the players. I think just cooling down the tempers today. It has been a pretty uh, high-tempered clash, one would say. Now both the teams are really pressing that uh, pedal. But then Alexei is, uh, in fact, Kasimov and Kamalissa like to share a few smiles. Substitution happening in, which means uh, Adnan Ayub will be going off. Wherein we were talking about uh, Ifa Mir, who will be coming on. Now, Ifa Mir is another very versatile player. You can see him being slotted into the attacking unit. You can see him being slotted in as a midfielder. Uh, that's a decent bit of work there. Marvin Sporting does well to keep it away from Crizo, But that pass uh, wasn't really a glamorous one. Free kick there. A bit of push right in front of the referee's eyes. Kasimov is arguing there. He thinks it fell, but it more looked like almost diving into his opponent, man. And that will be a free kick for Will Kashmir. Time of running out, though. A draw will be a big hamper for a Mohammedan. Badam Chetri set. Tall players in the box. Will Kashmir with all those options. Goes towards Krizo. Missed by everyone. He's not happy. Absolutely frustrated with what's going on. Look at him go. Flying every time there's a ball in the box. Param Chetri, a seasoned name under the sticks, knows the game, knows Indian football for a while. And one of the most reliable names, one of the most safest uh, pair of gloves under the sticks as well. 
and that's why Mohamed and Sporting they have relied on him they have pinned their hopes on him let's see a nice cheeky forward ball there but then it was not going to be easy to capitalize because uh, Real Kashmir had the numerical superiority there had a couple of defenders uh, storming in if Amir who's just come out to play he is pretty much on a high at the moment he's a fresh face of course uh, he will like to bring in the novelty a different style of football altogether in the Real Kashmir half Well, of course. And today is the 23rd of March. And why I mention that? Because uh, the last time uh, these two faced in a March fixture, it was the 25th of March 2021. And the Real Kashmir's home game, they won 2 1 against Mohammedan. No goals here, though. Pikash has come to the right. Uh, Wayne Vaz uh, with just enough to win possession back. Uh, a friendly hand to Bikash, 53% possession. Mohammedan just leaping in that stat a little bit right now. 47 for Real Kashmir. Still time. Still time to see a goal or more here. Real Kashmir now. Kamalesa on the ball. Kamalesa not really the cleanest of passes. However, manages to find one of their own. Kamalesa once again on it. Does well to keep the defenders at bay. Referee does well to elude uh, the ball's path. Kriso. Kriso sends it to Wayne Vaz. Carlos Lomba back to Wayne Vaz. Back to Lomba once again. Square pass to Mohamed Ahmad, the captain. Not the cleanest of collections. That was a cheap giveaway there. This can be an opportunity for Mohamedan Sporting. But Shahid Shaheen, look at how he was just keeping an eye. It felt as if a predator was just so famished for the possession there. And the two centre-backs just creating the difference. Shahid Shaheen on one side, Joseph Ajay on the other side. You talked about his communication with Padam Chetri. Once again, we saw that left it for Padam Chetri. An important communication in such circumstances. No foul given. And launched long. Eddie Hernandez uh, moving forward and needed communication on the other end as well, which was right there from Shahid Shaheen. The calm there. Look at the calm between uh, Muit Shabir and uh, Shahir Shaheen. I mean, Eddie Hernandez, someone of his stature, when he is breathing onto your neck, it gets very challenging. And yet, uh, Shahir Shaheen, he didn't budge. A very gentle nudge into the gloves of Muit Shabir and it's job well done. That's the quality, that's the brilliance that you really like to witness. Marvin and Sporting with the ball. Trying to make way, David Hamar. David sends it further back. And that's another forward ball attempted. Eddie trying to latch onto it, does well. Wanted to flick the ball back into the stride of David Hamar and possibly create a shooting path but it was not to be should have done better we expect more but uh, that's one point uh, not much talked about Eddie will get back to it after this attack but David controlling it towards Angusana he has seen the ball forward and it is uh, towards uh, Eddie Hernandez but what a leap from Muit Shabir gathering almost the points uh, throws it out maybe because there is some issues uh, and that is the case indeed is it Muhammad Hamad who has gone down and get some treatment but just coming back to the point meanwhile about Eddie Hernandez which is not much talked about is that he has got 13 goals but the creating part is a, a bit of a, a missing link in his game where he has got 13 goals but no assists to his name but apart from that, if you look at the other strikers, be it uh, Aiswal Salal Rinzuala, who has got uh, a similar number of goals, uh, but uh, has got assists to his name. Krizu has got 11 goals with 4 assists. Alex Sanchez has got 16 goals uh, and uh, 4 or 5 assists, I believe. Same goes for Intakashi's Mario Barco. So this is one aspect uh, somewhat missing. Not taking away any uh, of those qualities which he has. 13 goals, massive. 
very well pointed out, Bhaskar. I think uh, this is what also which kind of shapes up the game. And now, uh, getting back quickly to Muhit Shabir, I think a few moments ago we just witnessed an actual snow leopard in action. That leap out there, I am doubtful. Either he was playing NBA out there. I've seen leaps like that happen, but in football, a goalkeeper. It's very rare to witness, but yes, uh, great to see. Great to see that you see we are in the 80th minute, and still look at that commitment. Still look at the uh, the cause that they are fighting for. This can be a brilliant run. Eddie Hernandez took a bit longer than expected. Possibly could have gone all the way by himself because he has a good shooting range. The second thought just uh, making it difficult. Oh, thankfully it was both of them tumbling, but Kriso first to it. Angu Sana does so well to just slide into perfection. Saves their day. Kriso was more frustrated with himself than anything else because the first challenge, it should have been the chance for Kriso, but he couldn't stay on his feet. That is excellent recovery from Angu Sana. And uh, you talked about a leap from Muhit Shapir. Uh, just to clarify uh, to the fans that he's all of course on a positive note uh, very impressive from Mohit Shabir he has a chance for Gabriel Kashmir now from the left uh, Jeremy looking for a cross a 50-50 ball falls to Kamalesa oh, well he was not aware what was going on here and that's a cheap giveaway and the same done by Alexis Gomez Kriso, he was just getting himself back up. He was just uh, gathering his senses back. He was down. And then quickly realized that uh, Real Kashmir will need a touch in between. He says, I'll provide that. Don't worry. It's okay. I'm all right. And now we in Sporting. That was a lovely bit of run, though. David Hamar on the ball. And that looked like a very emaciated shot, to be honest. Could have done better than that. We've seen him doing that. In fact, it was Alexis. Uh, it has not been his day. Final 10 minutes, do we still see a change? Do we still see uh, Kozlov or Nelar in action? Very surprised, to be honest, to see no changes uh, uh, apart from David Lal and Sangha coming in at the uh, starting. And there, right when we speak, we can see a few players uh, getting warmed up uh, and one just getting ready as well. And we saw Samad going there. And apart from that, uh, uh, there was probably Another player who was just getting ready will find that out, but Kriso has it again. Solid from Irshad. Play on, says the ref. And now Jeremy, the most dangerous of the lot. For them, Chetri out of his lines. And praises fall short for this man, how he has performed throughout the season. For them, Chetri, their savior. I would say this has been a game of two defenses. This has been a game of two goalkeepers. If Mohit Shabir hits the top 10, Padam Chetri is hitting the stratosphere. Absolutely incredible. That save out there, again, that wasn't too much needed to be done. But then trying to keep yourself calm, trying to keep yourself focused, that was the key. And Padam Chetri did that brilliantly. Marvin and Sporting on the run. There is a long ball, a long true ball attempted and an excellent follow through eventually coming up in form of an Intervention there from Iftam from Ifam Mir. Another corner once again. Alexis shouldered with the responsibility. Do we have what can be a game changer here? A shorter one on the carpet, looking for some crossing space. There comes the cross, slightly far away, eludes everyone in the process, and at the end of the day, it's going to be a goal kick in favor of Real Kashmir. And that's uh, uh, nice to see, a more friendly exchange in the second half, but uh, more of in their mind to get on with the game quickly, I would say. And uh, now in comes the changes. Uh, it is uh, Alexis Gomez sacrificed, uh, Juan Carlos Nela coming in, Argentine for another Argentine. Uh, more of a defensive player, I would say. Uh, might have those attacking abilities, uh, but in the previous uh, matches. Uh, we've seen him doing more of that central midfielder role and sometimes the defensive one for Punjab once or twice. I think uh, 
the reason he's brought on Juan Carlos Nelar is because uh, Kozlov, he's more of a winger. He's, he, he usually cuts in from that left wing. He's a very efficient winger. But they have David Hamar in the mix, whom they can slot on as the solitary central striker. So maybe Nellar will be playing more of a role in the midfield, trying to bridge the gap between the defence and that attacking line. And uh, David Hamar will be moving up front as the solitary striker. That possibly can be a strategy. Well, sorry to differ, but uh, that can be, of course, a strategy. But right now, as we can see, David has been deployed on the left flank. Very surprising because uh, you said Koslov is more of a left winger and a right wing, a right wing, left wing, whatever he likes to play. Uh, last time out, he played on the left wing. And Alexis Gomez was playing there. So taking more off was more like for like for Koslov. But at the moment, now that the wings are blank, it's Pikash on one side and David on the other. Angusana just promoted a little ahead of Kasimov and Juan Carlos Nella in real Kashmir trying to set up something. Just five minutes remaining. And Will Mohammedan drop points. Uh, wasted pass. I think Real Kashmir would be expecting three points from this game considering the fact that this is a home match. But then again, I don't think one point will make them too sad either because at the end of the day, it's the table toppers visiting your house. And they are in for an absolute slugfest. They are in for three entire points. And they didn't relent, to be honest. That's a lovely bit of ball there. Opportunity for Kashmir, real Kashmir, in fact. And Mohammad Arshad out-muscling the attacker there. Here comes in a long ball. Slightly overpowered, I would say, Shair Shaheen. He won't make a hash of affairs there. Mohit Shabir will clear the danger lines and send it downtown. That's very well done by Real Kashmir. Chests it down, away from the moment in sporting attack. And now Wayne Vaz making his way from the left. Looking for a bit of space, looking for a bit of help. Kamal Issa. Issa goes for a long range, but I reckon that was a bit too far than you would expect. 12 shots from Real Kashmir. Finding the target. Has been a question. Padam Chetri goes down. Has been a tough game for him. Faced a number of attacks. This EO will be called upon again. Fans are getting a bit frustrated right now. They would have loved to see goals. Uh, along with uh, these two teams uh, being the most uh, solid defenses. One more factor which comes into play is the goal scoring ability. I'm talking about goal scoring abilities of uh, teams. Uh, Mohammedan have been lethal as well. Intakashi have suddenly stepped up. The highest number of goals scored by any team this season is, of course, Gokulam Kerala, who were miles ahead with 46 goals. But Intakashi, right now, they have scored 45. And right after that, Srinidhi taken with 41 and Mohammedan spotting with 40 goals this season. That is massive. Uh, and uh, they would have loved to score here. Also coming into the build-up in this match, Mohammedan sporting in the last uh, uh, four matches have scored 11 goals. And containing that attack is really commendable from uh, Real Kashmir. Wonder how much will be added on with a goal kick right now. And another substitution, Angusana will be taking it off. And in comes uh, James Singh. And that will mean he will, uh, James will slot on the wings and David again back to the central role. Andrew Shonishov uh, making a few tactical substitutions. But Pashwar, don't you think... Uh, it's a bit too late, 88 minutes on the clock, possibly 10 minutes earlier, and we still could have seen a stark difference in the game. Nonetheless, uh, all the way back to Padam Chetri. He'll take his time, ask Krizo to step up. Look at how cool and calm he is. Look at how composed he is. And that is what experience is all about. It makes you so seasoned. 
it's just brilliant to watch. And now Mohamedan Sporting has a bit of space from the left. There comes the cross. However, before it reached Eddie Hernandez, that was intercepted. Could have been a goal-scoring chance in the dying embers. Alarm bell ringing. Alarm bells ringing at both ends. And now Padam Chetri once again stepping out of his comfort zone, stepping out of his line to deny Crizo a free run at goal. Now this is some excellent electric box-to-box -box action. Both the teams, the main business here. Jeremy has also been taken off and Enam makes his way to the centre. Carlos Lomba is off as well. Henry Kiseka is on, but a shot from Crizo. Sharp, but not precise. And the chants get louder for Crizo, but Another attempt goes begging. Look at that again. And Henry Kiseka straight away getting involved in the mix of things. So a couple of changes. Carlos Lomba and Jeremy taken off. And it is Muhammad Inam. And Henry Kiseka have come on in the corner for Muhammad. And we are moving into additional minutes here after 90 Everyone watching this game, but these are testing times for both sides. And even for the fans as well. I think they would always love to see a goal, but certainly not at this end. They'd like to see it at the other end. At the moment, Real Kashmir has a Herculean task at hand. Five corners in favour of Mohamed Sporting. And look at how Kasimov taking his time, kind of walking all the way out there. Five minutes of additional time and an opportunity for Mohamedan Sporting to get their noses ahead. Here comes the corner, straight into the hands of Mohit Shabir. Mohit Shabir and uh, Padam Chetri both have been absolutely sensational. It's a team in yellow and a team in black and white. The stars have been two men in green. But David Lalansanga, he loves to be the star at times, tackled from behind. Perfectly done by Shahid Nazir. But David doesn't complain. And that's a sign of how perfect that challenge was from behind. Look at those touches from David. And that was picture perfect there, right on the ball. Not a second late, not a second early. Which simply tells you how good real Kashmir has been today. And David, I would also praise him, the way he received the ball took those three touches, they were perfection. However, when your defender, opposition defender, plays like that, that is somewhat of godly stuff there. Indeed. And uh, Mohammedan have another corner. Uh, they do not have much time remaining. And there's Kasimov with the corner kick. Can he find the men inside? And uh, not really is the answer. Three more minutes uh, to see if we can separate these two sides. Throw in from Wayne Vaz. I think Real Kashmir as well also taking things at a slightly lighter pace than they usually were. I think both the teams will be happy to share the spoils of this game. Oh, that's a clattering tackle there. In fact, a clattering push there. And I think the player knows he quickly went up to have a word. Well, I'll say that is silly. At this stage, uh, giving away a free kick in such a zone, that was Ramdina, his second foul. But a chance for Mohammedan again, a gift of a chance. Juan Carlos Nella, can he do the damage later? Tries to find uh, Eddie Hernandez, a different idea. Not quite well worked and they will have a throw in as well. A bit of uh, late burst of life here for the visitors. And uh, their captain, Zoring Liana, I think uh, he will be very happy. He will be delighted with the kind of performance that the visitors have posted in the den of the snow leopards. It isn't easy. You see, they call the TRC turf a fortress for a reason. And that's a change. Uh, looks like Hafizur Rahman Khan 
has come on. Throw in taken quickly there. Or rather short. Uh, and he'd have to take it again. Kamalisa is taken off. Uh, a little surprising at this stage of the game, just maybe running down the clock. Uh, the throw in is gone in favor of uh, Real Kashmir. I think at the moment both the coaches have somewhat made peace with the fact that we are heading into a draw, if not for a late bit of drama. Again, with that being said, that doesn't mean that any of these teams are going to take this lightly. That was another long ball uh, slotted onto the far right, but couldn't really keep it under control. But tell you what, that'll only mean trouble for Muhammad in Sporting because the next team they face is in Takashi, who are in red hot form right now. They have loved to score goals. Uh, and uh, right after, of course, uh, they will also face Shillong Lechong in Shillong, which is another tough fixture. So, two hard fixtures, but right now in comes uh, Sheikh Fayaz. And uh, maybe Andrew Chernyshov is hoping for a miracle because uh, Sheikh Fayaz uh, has an experience of scoring against Real Kashmir. It scored two goals against Real Kashmir in a 3-1 victory in uh, the last to last season. Kriso trying to get on to it, uh, but Mohammedan will have it back. Maybe one last chance uh, to move forward. Very rightly pointed out there, Bhashwar, that they have a couple of tough matches coming up. But then again, one particular thing about teams that usually remain in the top half of the table, I reckon they take one match at a time, and Andrei Shonishov is also possibly doing that. At the moment, what he's concerned about is to get a point from Kashmir, because believe me, taking a point from Kashmir, that to in Kashmir, is not easy. That is tough, that is challenging. You have the entire home crowd supporting the real Kashmir side, and you also have the conditions which is slightly difficult for the incoming players. So possibly, I think Andrei Shonishov would think this one point will be okay with them. I won't say that it's going to be amazing, yes, but uh, it is certainly going to be okay. 0-0 zero, zero is where we stand at the end of the 90 minutes. And a quick uh, exchange of pleasantries between these two teams because uh, I would say this is a befitting end to this encounter. It is. But I would say the moral of the story, Mohammedan drop two points. That is how majority would conceive this as. Maybe not Andrew Chernyshov, maybe he'll be happy with the point from Kashmir. But the fans at home in Kolkata and of course the majority of the fan bases and Srinidhi Deccan, they will look at this as a drop of two crucial points. Yeah, it goes without the saying, of course, uh, when you are in a title race, every point you drop becomes a question mark. But then at the same time, I think you also have to look at the positive side of it. The full-time score there, 0-0. Zero, zero. We will see, soon see the stats uh, as well here on your screen. Well, 50-50 ball possession, as one would say, 13 shots from Real Kashmir, just four of them from Mohammedan Sporting, three shots on target. For the Snow Leopards, 17 fouls from Real Kashmir, 10 of them from Mohammedan Sporting. Couple of yellow cards for the Snow Leopards and three yellow cards for Mohammedan Sporting. Guess what? The sequence of red cards have finally been broken. Well, been broken, but uh, they haven't got goals uh, as well. That is uh, the concerning part. 13 shots uh, from Real Kashmir. Kriso with three attempts. Uh, Carlos Lomba, Kamalisa and Shahir Shaheen with two attempts each. Adnan Ayub and Jeremy with attempt two, but they didn't come close enough to target. And whenever they did, uh, there was Padam Chetri. But Mohammedan's attack was silenced uh, by this Real Kashmir defense. Just four shots. Alexis Gomez with two, Beneston with one in the first half, and Eddie Hernandez with one. Expected more from them. But uh, they are back with a clean sheet here, Real Kashmir. 11th clean sheet of the season. 13 goals conceded after 21 matches. That's how strong the defense has been. But 17 fouls from Real Kashmir. Kriso with four of them. Kamalesa win Vaz with three each. Ramdina twice his name on that chart. Carlos Lomba and Jeremy with one foul each. Talking about fouls, Mohamed and Sporting as well committed 10 of them. Kasimov with three. Alexis with a couple of them. Uh, Adenga, Angu, Beneston and Eddie Hernandez. One foul each. 
which kind of signified that it was a pretty physical encounter, even though in the second half things calmed down a bit. This was a contest of two halves, of two hemispheres. The first one certainly belonged to real Kashmir. The second one, though, Mohammedan Sporting did well to fight back. And as things stand, at the right at the top of the points table, Mohammedan Sporting with 48 points, uh, Shrinidhi Deccan next in line with 39. So, yes, uh, they have a chance to make up some lost grounds. And uh, as you can see on your screen, these are the highlights. Both the goalkeepers had quite a hectic outing as uh, they were summoned into action pretty frequently. This was an opportunity, a golden chance for Mohamed and Sporting to try and break the deadlock. Muit Shabir was manning the second post. And then this was another lovely chance, eyeing uh, Kriso on the far post. But then, being very honest, those gilt-edged opportunities, those clear-cut chances, I think they have been very rare to find in today's occasion. Well, of course, uh, but Kriso and uh, Shaheen, Shaheen time and again uh, knocking the door. This was an awkward one uh, from uh, uh, Joseph Ajay. And chances kept on coming for Real Kashmir throughout the game. And that is why 13 attempts. The first half ended nil-nil. Of course, the second half too. But the reason will be up on your screen in a moment. Uh, Mohammedan came out a little better. And that was the only open chance uh, for Eddie Hernandez. And this save from Padam Chetri. And Joseph combined helped them stay at level terms. I think this communication between the defence and the goalkeepers of both the side, that was so brilliant, that was so delightful to watch. For any football fans, Carlos Lomba as well sent in a crucial free kick. Shire Shaheen could have shattered the deadlock with a thumping header. However, the header kind of bobbled off, kind of ballooned over the sticks. This was another brilliant chance. Wayne Vaz was certainly on the lookout. And then Kriso had another opportunity, but then a very weak shot at the end to say that it is going to be spoiled shared here in Srinagar. Well, of course, and that is it uh, from our side. But there is another game uh, lined up at 7 p.m. Kokulam, Kerala. The Malabarians uh, take on uh, Delhi FC in uh, Kerala. But for this game, it is full time. Stake shared. Real Kashmir nil. Mohammedan SC nil. Hope you enjoyed the game and hope to see you again soon.